All right, what's up, what's up? Wes Mitchell here, another Gamecock Central production on our YouTube page. And certainly if you're not already a subscriber, although a lot of you are, our subscriber numbers have been going up big time on YouTube. And we're going to continue to try to uh, keep producing original content here on our YouTube page uh, to supplement everything that we do on GamecockCentral.com every single day. So if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and uh, then you'll know whenever we uh, post some more content today. We're going to be looking at Gamecock wide receiver commit Sam Reynolds uh, out of Alabaster, Alabama. Thompson High, he um, was actually the first South Carolina commitment of this class that is still on the commitment list. Uh, Lavoisier Carroll, technically the first, but um, obviously decommitted from the Gamecocks a while back. Um, first game of last season, I believe, uh, right after that, and now is committed to Georgia. So uh, for all intents and purposes, Sam Reynolds, the first commitment to the Gamecocks class. So we're going to start with him as we do these different film breakdowns of South Carolina's um, guys that we didn't talk about um, when they committed. We, we do have some other, if you're looking for information on uh, Bryce Still, Tremelius Tatum, some of those guys, we actually did some film breakdowns uh, when those guys committed. But for now, we're going to go back through the class and, and talk about some of the different guys as we continue to focus on um, doing some more videos for you guys here on YouTube. So uh, with, with all that being said, uh, this is Sam Reynolds, a uh, wide receiver commitment for South Carolina, and uh, this is his film uh, brought to you by Huddle. So uh, certainly want to give those guys credit. That's where this film is coming from, and uh, we're going to give you our thoughts on it here. Uh, Sam, a guy you'll see right off the bat here, uh, kickoff returner for his team, and uh, he, he plays for a, a powerhouse program uh, there for Mark Freeman um, at, at Thompson High School. They actually won the Alabama 7A state championship this past season and here right off the bat you're going to see the speed and, and that's something South Carolina has focused on adding speed to um, to the recruiting class uh, and, and really at wide receiver is a position where they need to add speed and um, Sam's a guy uh, not necessarily an Olympic burner but uh, 10 8 4 in the 100 meter dash 6 9 5 in the 60 and a 4 4 1 40 guy so he's got speed to burn you're going to see him on a lot of these he, you know plays he's going to be in the slot I think that's where he fits at South Carolina and uh, you, you see the explosiveness there uh, not not the biggest guy um, probably 5'8 5'9 you know I, I don't know what his weight is at now but uh, someone that South Carolina wanted to get to you know to play this role where where essentially they're going to move him around and play him from from various spots on the field um, that, that's really the way that that Thompson used him as well and uh, most of the time the slot, but right now you're going to see him spread out wide and actually up on the line of scrimmage, um, a, a deep threat, a guy that has good ball skills. That you see him run on, run away from the defender, then run under the football here. And, um, you know, someone th – this was a team that, that really had a lot of talent, but that Sam was still able to get the football, and uh, that was a big part of their offense. And, and now you're going to see him on defense as well, uh, come in and, and set the edge and make a play. And You know, I, I talked to Mark Freeman, who's the head coach, at Thompson and uh, coach Freeman was telling me really that their, their team as a whole took off when they started playing Sam uh, on uh, on defense as well you, here you see it with another big play on offense um, getting open down the seam carrying past the linebacker and uh, just getting vertical but um, and I'm gonna pause it here for a second he they really just needed another guy on defense with the athleticism that they, they were a guy short basically and um, they needed somebody else on defense that, that could cover slot receivers, that could make some plays actually in the box as well. He, he played some linebacker, which you don't always see for a guy his size. But when he moved to, to playing defense for them, that, that's actually when their season really took off and they were their third down numbers as far as uh, getting off the field defensively and getting their offense back on the field uh, went, went way up. So, um, so Sam's a guy that is very versatile for his current team. He's going to be versatile for South Carolina as well, but I think that would be obviously within the confines of playing offense and special teams. Not going to play any defense for South Carolina. Here you see him playing some running back, a speed option, and just uh, using his speed. And really, he he glides, man. I, I mean, he's uh, he's an explosive kid. I, you know, the hundred yard, the hundred meter dash time is good. Um, I, I don't know if it's like I said, it's not Olympic speed, but really, what you like about Sam is the quickness he gets. To full speed in a hurry and, and he's got some toughness to him too as you see him finish off that run right there and I think if you're going to play in this league as sort of you know that that undersized slot guy 
you have to play with a chip on your shoulder. You have to play with an edge, and you have to play with some toughness, and that's what Sam does. Here you see him lined up in the slot again on offense. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys, especially at the high school level. I mean, we, we saw South Carolina with Ace Sanders under Steve Spurrier throw these little quick outs down at the goal line when, um, you know, all, your, your defenses just can't match up with uh, that short space quickness that a guy like Ace Sanders had for South Carolina. And you see with Sam, especially at the high school level, um, just uh, really, really difficult for a linebacker who's having to watch out for the run down there at the goal line to uh, get out there into the perimeter and, and make a play on Sam. Um, let's see. And, and he you see him on a little drag route, uh, makes a guy miss, well, drags a couple of guys for an extra couple of yards. And, again, you, you know, you see the toughness. So, you know, I, Sam's a, a three-star guy right now on Rivals. You know, I, I think that's probably about right. You don't necessarily see, um, you know, the smaller slot types able to to be in incredibly highly ranked unless they're just absolutely elite of the elite athletes. So a uh, three-star guy, probably be, probably about right. Uh, I was actually looking back, um, Ace Sanders, I, I didn't realize he was a four-star guy back in the day. He was a four-star on Rivals. Um, Ace uh, obviously just had elite quickness and was able to make some plays even with his size. But, but Sam, uh, like I said, as a three-star guy, that's probably about right. Here you see him in the slot again. Um, making a catch uh, in traffic, getting hit. And uh, and they, they really use him a lot of ways. You see him slant routes. You see him uh, perimeter screen. You see him uh, in the vertical game, sort of down the seam, um, drag routes, out of the backfield, as I said, and uh, as a kickoff returner. So, And then here you see him again, like I said, lined up as like a nickel Sam out here on the edge and, and, and make, some, you know, make some plays against the run as well and sort of gets to the football. So. I think there's a lot to like about Sam Reynolds. I think this is one that not is not necessarily going to be someone that, that gets talked about as much as some other guys in the class. Maybe not someone that um, is going to be that that high four star guy for you. But when you look at the needs, look at the fact South Carolina needs to continue to add athleticism and speed to their offense. And um, you know he's someone that I, I think South Carolina was able to get in on early. Bobby Bentley has a really good relationship with uh, with Coach Freeman there. And, um, you know, I, I think that went, went a long way for South Carolina getting in early. They got him in on a visit with his family before, um, you know, the recruiting process got shut down by everybody due to – or for everybody due to COVID-19. I think the timing played out really, really well for them there. And, um, you know, I was sort of waiting to see if he was going to see his recruitment blow up after uh, South Carolina offered him and then, uh, to, you know, accepted a commitment from him. Didn't necessarily happen right off the bat, but – uh, West Virginia um, with, with Coach Neil Brown there, who I think is one of the better offensive minds in the country. West Virginia is the, the latest Power Five offer for Sam Reynolds. So you're starting to see maybe word get out about this kid, about how um, he, he's someone that can probably make some plays for your, for your offense. If you use him the right way and use him in the slot and use him in space, um, you know, at, at the Power Five level. So, again, that's Sam Reynolds, a slot receiver for the Gamecocks. They're going to move him all over, but I think for the most part, you know, slot is probably where he, he fits best and where you'll see him lining up. And um, we'll see if he can have a, a big senior year and, uh, and maybe move up to the rankings. And we'll also see uh, what South Carolina can do as far as adding a couple of other guys to this receiver class that can complement Sam Reynolds' skill set and uh, continue to sort of add some talent to a position as Joe Cox takes over uh, the South Carolina wide receiver room. Um, you know, for the first time, um, actually within the last month or so, when he when he took over for uh, Brian McClendon, sliding over from tight end. So, uh, yeah, that that's our quick breakdown of uh, South Carolina commitment. Sam Reynolds. We'll be back uh, with with more here on the Gamecock Central YouTube, and uh, of course, hit the uh, subscription button there. That part's free. Or uh, go to GamecockCentral.com and try our new free trial for our premium service on Gamecock Central. Which uh, this free trial actually with the promo code. Gamecocks 2020 runs all the way from now to the beginning of August. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon.